Howdy, stranger. Don't say howdy, stranger to me. Miau, miau, miau. Miau, <laughs> meow, 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 meow. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is the first episode of the Two Minute Terminator, where we break down bolt by bolt, screw by screw, uh, the Terminator film, starting with Terminator 1. We're going to work our way all the way through the movies to Terminator Genesis at the end of the year. How exciting is this? Can you hear the excitement in my voice? No. No, no you can't. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm Ethan McKinley from uh, ethanmckinley.com. Uh, next to me is Ellie Fitzgerald. Hello. My eminent co-host. <laughs> Are you anywhere on the internet, Ellie, apart from just in this room? Um, I'm on Facebook. Uh, it's just Ellie Fitzgerald. I'm on Twitter. Uh, again, Ellie Fitzgerald. Um, Good luck finding that one. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Joe Bowdler, the <laughs> Hi. Uh, genius blogger, journalist, stand-up comedian extraordinaire. Tell us about yourself, Joe. Uh, you can get me on Twitter at Jojo's Dojo. <laughs> That's all you need to know, I think. Um, I'm writing a science fiction book as well. So I'm in a, in, a, in a unique place to critique and break down the Terminator saga. What's your science fiction uh, book called, Joe? It's called The Black, and it's about a thousand-year gap in human history. Um, and it's full of these monsters made of human beings. So we're in really good company. We are. Wow. Sci-fi's finest. <laughs> <laughs> and the luminary. worst. <laughs> And nobody. <laughs> and nobody, yeah. So we are going to start watching uh, the Terminator films. We're going to watch them basically uh, two minutes at a time. So we're going to watch every two minutes, then That's talk minutes about later. it. Shall we do two it minutes. from now and go through all the movies all the way to the very, very end? And not sleep. And not sleep. And do a ton of speed and just go straight through. That would make some, straight through. That would make some bloody good podcasting. I reckon acid would be better than speed, though. You'd be more tech chatty, thing. I think. Yeah. No food or water, nowhere to go to the toilet. We'll lock the doors, just <laughs> us three. <laughs> and board, f- board up and, the windows. And nine Terminator movies. We'll just wee in those shoes. Uh, yeah, Joe's with us for this uh, <laughs> flagship flagship episode, and he will return on episode 21. So it's just me and Ellie fumbling through the dark, trying to find the light switch at that point. However, hopefully, we're entertaining enough to see you through to that point. So before we begin, I'd like to give a shout out to the uh, Star Wars Minute. And uh, Pete the Retailer uh, for their wonderful Initial show. That's, inspiration, that's kind of inspired this show. Mm-hmm. So hopefully they won't sue us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, boys. And uh, if you are listening, You're I hope promoting. you. Yeah, I hope you enjoy our show. Listen to the uh, Star Wars minute. It's amazing. And hopefully you'll. Uh, if you continue. like Star Wars, that is. Even if you don't like Star Wars, it's great. <laughs> the minutia they go into is genius. Uh, anyway, yeah. So I hope you like the show. Is this a, even a good idea, Ellie? Really? It's an amazing idea. Is it an amazing idea? Okay. Everyone loves Terminator, and if they don't, then. Okay, <laughs> everyone's got their facts ready. Yeah. They've got their story straight. Why Joe's in a dress, we'll save that for a later show. <laughs> <laughs> Just drop that in there. And here we go. MGM sign. The lion. What's the name of the lion? I don't know that information. Oh, forget it. Oh. Google have, it if you want. I have seen the original um, thing where they film it, though. Well, they've the original lion. I assume they've had Back multiple in the lions. Days. No, it's just the one. That's CGI. That's Someone right. Wikipedia the lion from the MGM side. Right, I'm on it. And find out. I'm, I Whilst bet you discuss not, Orion. In fact, go. I'm pretty damn sure uh, I've seen a montage of all the lions being filmed. Even my, Rocky had My grandparents a owned every single MGM musical ever on Betamax. Whoa! I thought you were going to say like they were like the I Rogers sh- and Hammerstein of. Uh, no, no, no! <laughs> I shit you not. Some great. My great rich stuff grandparents uh, used to own the entire playbook of Rogers and Hammerstein. <laughs> <laughs> on Betamax. That would be on Betamax. Yeah, yeah. Betamax. I think my mum had those, like the uh, the South Pacific and the yeah San, the, the CBS Fox uh, range. Singing in the Your rain. Your mum? How is she? AKA Al Pacino. <laughs> Al Pacino. She's great. <laughs> she's I literally tell a spitting you, image. Of Al my mother <laughs> looks exactly like Al Pacino. You should get her to do one of these. You know. Oh, I will. <laughs> it's going to be called Mum Loves Movies. <laughs> There's an explosion coming up, which I'm. That explosion is a great explosion. You would never see that explosion in new in new cinema because it's so like. I don't know. It just was like a cloud of cloud of cloud of dust and uh, and like a torch flicking on and off. That was the constituent element. That's why I love Terminator. Like I think having original. said well, having said that, for 1984, I think the effects are still kind of pretty good. Oh, they're phenomenal. Yeah, the lasers are pretty awesome. But that explosion, I think they were just the machines w- rose from the ashes of the nuclear fire. 
And <laughs> you're going to finish someone else is going to Machines join rose from the ashes in a nuclear fire. Their the war, war to exterminate mankind, mankind raged for decades. decades. But, but the, the final, final battle... Oh, would... oh, mm. <laughs> I'm glad this, uh, these things only last two fucking minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Gene Warren and Fantasy 2 did the effects and model work. Uh, James Cameron, of course, designed all of this stuff. And James Cameron, if you didn't know anyone... Uh, what was actually a uh, production designer and map painter for Roger Corman so he worked on films like uh, Battle Beyond the Stars and Ellie Alien Piranha uh, many of Roger Corman's like late 70s output essentially and uh, James Cameron got his directorial debut with Ellie Aliens no! Alien? 1982, Piranha 2, The Flying I Killers. I have seen it! Where the scary piranhas from Piranha 1 took to the skies. I've never seen it. And who was his leading man in that film, Piranha 2, Ellie? I don't that know. James Cameron wrote and directed? I don't know. Come on, you know this. I've never seen the movie! You don't have to. It's a, he's a James Cameron stalwart. He's one of the, the stock company of actors that uh, you know James Cameron uses in all his films, except Avatar. Bill Paxman? <laughs> Bill, <laughs> yes. Bill Paxman. No, Bill Paxton, the actor... <laughs> Who is not in uh, Piranha 2, The Spawning, 1982. <laughs> uh, Bill Paxman, I think you confused me. Jeremy Paxman, who is a, uh, a UK newsreader slash no. anchor man of sorts. No, uh, it's Lance Henriksen. Oh. Lance Henriksen plays, of course, the uh, the do, do well sheriff. Uh, was do, it? Do, the do right, do, 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 the upstanding do. sheriff who the fights. The one that does all the work in the first I've not, I've not seen Piranha 2, listeners, and I know this. So. Yeah, but you're a fucking film buff. Explain that to me. Huh? <laughs> So Joseph, have you discovered anything about the MGM Lion or Orion? I kind pictures? of. I, that's not really what what what's interested me from the first two minutes so far. What I've been checking out is the font. You've actually Dude, been being used because it's a I really good font. font. You've it's actually a, been watching the font. film. We're <laughs> talking about Lance Henriksen as a sheriff. I've been I've been I've been checking out the font, but there's not really much to say about it other than it's called the Terminator font. <laughs> well, the Terminator good font. Can you get that like, on you Word? You can find online for free. And yeah. it's the actual font that they actually oh, wow. type in the title of the Terminator for. Yeah. Which That's we right. Need to use for the marketing. On it's this available site. now. Definitely. It's available now on defont.com forward slash terminator. <laughs> That's defont. Big shout out <laughs> to uh, the defont.com. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Orion Pictures, you were saying before we started this podcast, Joseph, that uh, yeah. many of your 80s faves are made by Orion. In fact, yeah, they are. Specifically, uh, Robocop, actually. Yeah, Robocop. Uh, A great movie. There are other films that uh, Orion made. Yeah, there are. I'm just waiting for. A, a, do, 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 I think Q the Winged Serpent uh, was uh, a Corbin picture. I think the what? Q the Winged Serpent. Yeah. Serpent. I didn't know. Serpent. Did, I didn't know that Orion Serpent. did Serpent. Silence of the Lambs. Serbian? Silence. Well, they went bust. I think in is it the early nineties? Does it say on there? Uh yeah. Well, it seems that the biggest films of late in the nineties uh, were Silence of the Lambs in nineteen ninety one, and then nothing happened for quite a long time. Mm. So they've been resurrected, I think, last year when they've started doing television again. So we should expect really? some movies from Orion. But I think it was started in the late seventies by uh, some film producer. And uh, yeah, Robert Robert S. Benjamin. That's it. And, they and made Eric some Plesko. Amazing films, like really good output in terms of quality films all through the eighties, and then they kind of went mysteriously bust. And I think the reason. When we'll come to it, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, the sequel to this film, is released by Carol Co., which was Andrew Vagner and Mario Casar's <laughs> company. Not Vagina, Vagner. <laughs> uh, basically, these two producers, they made like First Blood, uh, Vagner. Uh, yeah, they uh, were, ran Carol Co., and Carol Co. actually released Terminator 2. So I assume Orion went bust in the late 80s or the early 90s? Because mm. they certainly lost Terminator as a franchise. It's a blow for sci fi fans. Yeah, they Brilliant. made the Adams family. They made the really? Adams family. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in 1964. The oh, okay. Adams oh, Orion yeah. did. Yeah. So did oh, so Orion's not the late 70s. Wow. Okay. When when did Orion start? What well, was the in inception of Orion? I've got I've got uh, 1964. Adams family is the first movie that I can find on here that they they were involved in. Right. Wow. Um, yeah, but then but then the really big stuff. Caddyshack. Yeah, Bill uh, Bill Murray. Yeah, R Rodney Dangerfield. Oh, my wife. Take her. <laughs> Robocop and Robocop Two. Of oh, yeah. course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mississippi Burning with Gene Hackman and is it done? No, it's not. Is there any movie you haven't Warren seen? Defoe. No. Hey, well, listeners, I used to go to this pub quiz at the Boogaloo in London, <laughs> which is a pub in North London, and I it used to be me on my own versus tables of all the comic book and memorabilia shops in London versus me, oh, and wow. I never won. 
<laughs> but I always came. I always tried. Second or third, usually second. And that one dude versus a, a, a room, a pub, nay, a bar full of nerds. <laughs> that's pretty good going. The how did it make you feel one. that you never actually won it? I don't care. The fact that I could come that near to the top versus all those dudes in terms of like being a geek. Come on. <laughs> You're like Cable Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just plonked in front of a TV from a young age. Uh, the opening sequence, which is, of course, the uh, the model work by Gene Warren at Fantasy 2, who I guess worked uh, exclusively with Roger Corman. I guess how he knew James Cameron. Uh, and these miniatures, of the uh, the hunter killer, the flying hunter killer, and the uh, the road, the, the, the was it the tank HK, uh, mm-hmm. were like three or four foot miniatures with foreground plates. See the skulls the here? The skulls were tiny. They tiny were skulls like, in extreme really? foregrounds. Three quarters of an inch big. Yeah. Perspective no miniature. Mm-hmm. And the HK in the background is literally a rear projection cinema screen with something they filmed earlier with uh, stuff in between there and here. Do you reckon That's they use the same fantastic. footage for the flashback? Yeah. So, huh? Do you reckon they use the same footage for the flashback? I assume they did a whole bunch of uh, future war sequences and then slide them in as and when, I guess. <laughs> Look at that font. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I particularly like the cursor flickering next to the names as well. Yeah, it looks like a uh, computer, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I should have said this at the start of the show. Uh, basically, you're watching the two minutes that we will start with, obviously, is the start of the show, which is the MGM sign. And then when that two minutes ends, it's basically when Arnold Schwarzenegger's name pops up in the credits, basically. So, uh, yeah. The first name. Yeah. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger of films, Joey. You a fan of Arnold? Um, yes and no. You know, I mean, everybody. I think everybody likes him ironically, right? Yeah. It's oh, like I love Arnold, him. Arnold Schwarzenegger and David Hasselhoff are kind of in the same. What? Mark. No way. Yeah, I wouldn't put him I in the Hasselhoff no group. Well, he is in the Hasselhoff group. I, there's probably other actors that could well, also be How and in the, why? Yeah, Hasselhoff. <laughs> I think. Well, I think Hasselhoff's I think always been cheese. But I think Arnold Schwarzenegger's cheesy. But I think he's. Aware of that, where yeah, I but he's think like a badass. Hasselhoff is he's aware like fucking that he's mature cheese, cheddar. Right? I think he's come to it now. <laughs> now he's released. Well, he's... you can't tell me that in Terminator in, in the eighties and early nineties. Do you remember when uh, the Berlin Wall? Like a... When the Berlin Wall came down, and, and he, he, he was singing, he was singing on the wall. Yeah, yeah, I, do yeah, I don't that. think he knew. He didn't Terminator become, didn't he do didn't, that. Like Skynet, he didn't become self-aware. He didn't reach his <laughs> singularity at that point. The same way Al Pacino was like a really great actor, and then he went, "I won an Oscar for Scent Woman," and then every like. Bring back cruising like, Al Pacino. Ah, 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 like that. Yeah. He went, you know, he reached his singularity. Hasselhoff's like the baby bell <laughs> of cheese. And you've got Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's like the... The, the oak, squeezed cheese. The oak smoked mature cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> the Austrian oak. <laughs> Those tiny little skulls flickering around on screen. No, again. So I think cool. they could have just released the, the first two minutes of the movie on a loop because I'm quite gripped. It is. Uh, we are gripped. He's literally <laughs> gripping right now. So do you have any favourite Arnold Schwarzenegger films, Joseph? Uh, yeah, Junior. No, I'm joking. Oh, <laughs> oh twins. The interplay with Emma Thompson <laughs> was just uh, amazing. Um, <laughs> I, well, I, I break Arnold Schwarzenegger films into like three crat- cat- categories. Categories? There's no cats in any yeah. films. Uh, a, B and C. A, B and C. You've got his A films, which are, for me, I guess, his initial outputs. So you've got Conan... Terminator, Commando, Predator. Yeah. Total, no. That's B. Terminator 2. So that's your A films for me. Mm. And then your B films are kind of... Total Recall. Total Recall. Uh, True Lies. True Lies. Yeah. Oh, she, what's the name what of the actress in that? She's extremely hot. And the rest is all C for me, I think. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. In True Lies, there's a sequence where she's like trying to seduce him. And as a child... Do it, do some more. I do had it. that on VHS. Yeah, I had that on VHS. And... I spanked to that. You, I spanked to that. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, <sighs> I seriously... It took very little. It's you only were... as soon as she wets her hair, though, when she's got the big yes, bouffant hairdo exactly. going. That's the, not so hot. The yeah. But then she rips all the like... Yeah, yeah, when she plays up to like her androgyny, stuff. it works. Yeah, when she was she trying to look like so a wife, she looked like See, a man See, chicks that looks like dudes. It's, it's well, that's what, a famous... So you've got that down there, I, I know, right? Hollywood memes or rumours that Jamie Curtis Me. is actually a dude. Oh, yeah, I heard she's, that. She's a hermaphrodite. Right? It's in the same file as the Richard uh, Gere gerbil in the Astro. I believe that, though. No, because Richard Gere did dabble in the early 80s with Scientology and left. <gasps> and if you've watched rec- the recent documentary Going Clear... They, Watch it, it's so fucking interesting. When they audit you, they obviously... 
Plus, you mm. really get to see how fucking nuts Tom, well, well, Tom Schmooze is. You, you have to tell them all your filthy <laughs> secrets, sexual and otherwise, and they actually record, like, in I've got, against I've got a bit of a problem well, with, your, um, with your um, bracketing of Arnold Schwarzenegger's career, really, because I've A, been, B, and C. Yeah, well, there's, there's, there's the a rest is all C. There's a Z, there's a, there's a, a the, there's a pre-A because his first his first movie was uh, Hercules, Hercules in New, New York, York. Yeah. yeah, where and he was... wrestles a bear. And anyone, if you've got the in, if you've got your phone with you now, and you're on a commute and you've got a signal, uh, Google Hercules in New York on your phone and uh, wrestling bear. It's a man literally in the worst bear costume ever in Central <laughs> Park, fighting uh, a centre piece. Well, a centre parted haircut Arnold Schwarzenegger with shoulder length oh hair, <laughs> wrestling. <Yep>. A bear. <laughs> it's, it's gold. Look it up on your that, phone now. That Ellie. sounds amazing. You'll cry laughing at this. Yeah, he did like he did like seven or eight movies before Conan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't he do like? Didn't he star in like some movies where he couldn't even speak English at the time? It was like subtitled. That was it. Hercules was in New York so as one. Mr. Universe, The Long Goodbye, Happy Anniversary, and Goodbye. Oh, oh uh, uh, Stay Hungry with Kurt Douglas and uh, correct Bo Bridges or Jeff Jeff Bridges. I think. Yeah, that's actually a good movie. He's good Bridges. in that. He actually got a uh, I think a Golden Globe nomination. Did remarkably, really? yeah. Wow. Wait, what's the movie called? Uh, Hercules in New York. Hercules in New York. So Google along with us, people. Uh, Google along in and uh, t- uh, type in Hercules in New York bear fight. <coughs> it's genius. Three point one on IMDb. That is uh, that's worth watching. Three point one. I, well, it might be so bad it's good. I've never actually watched it. I've just seen those sequences. I might have to watch. Do you know this what movie? is so bad? It's good that, that I, it doesn't really have a kind of Hollywood narrative, and it and it kind of <laughs> there's lots of plot holes in it, and it's awful. But. Um, Marvel Comics, they're bringing it back. Howard the Duck. Yes. That is a bloody good movie. It's laughable. It's shockingly bad. But Do you it's know a the bloody story good of movie. Howard the Duck? Uh, well, uh, no, because the movie was so bad that I couldn't really piece it together. I'll send you a link. <gasps> Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger wrestles Bigfoot. Oh my God, it's a gift. <laughs> oh, it's a gift. <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. Oh, it's, when, when, when a picture turns out to be a gift, it's just, it's just heaven, isn't it? It's genius. <laughs> Look at him just rolling around. You have to check this out, people. Uh, Chris Binding Film dot bo- uh, blogspot. There's an amazing gif of Arnold Schwarzenegger wrestling this bear in a park. <laughs> it's not a real bear. <laughs> Again, that flickering cursor. It looks like a massive bear. And then it goes back bear. to the flickering cursor is the very end of the two-minute segment, oh, and God, it's my amazing. it's my highlight. That flickering cursor just just, just represents <laughs> so much potential. Well, that's on the, the computer old screen. That's the old like PCs, isn't it, from the eighties that had that like flickering green cursor. It looks great. Yeah. It's very yeah. nice. Cult Corner, Hercules in New York. Oh my God, this bug looks really good. It's devoted entirely to Hercules in New York. Uh, yeah. It's 1972, is it right? Or one? 19... What year is it? 70? Bear with me one moment. Well, Joe's got the, the I don't there. know where these internet types get off, really. Just focusing their entire life centred on one movie and ripping it to pieces and putting it back together <laughs> well, again. That's exactly what we're doing Who right now? Who would do that? <laughs> oh, you've ruined it now, Ellie. Oh. <laughs> Ellie, get with the programme. That was the... I was, I was setting it up. <laughs> shit, shit, son. It's all right. It's only episode one. We can get that. We can increase the chemistry and the banter as time goes on. Right? <laughs> After yeah. many centuries, Hercules gets bored living in Olympus and decides to move to New York. But obviously, it's not easy for a man who lived in ancient Greece to get used to modern life. So things get a little tricky, especially when Zeus sends a few gods to bring his <laughs> semi-god son back to Mount Olympus. Not as good as Disney, Disney's Hercules, which has got a fantastic score and is probably my favourite of the late 90s Disney's movies. With uh, designs by Gerald Scarf, no less, right? No way. Do you really know that information? Yes. All right, I'm going to Google that now. because you, you, Gerald Scarf. Yes. Gerald Scarf. Gerald Scarf is, of course, if you don't know uh, around the world, is a British uh, satirist cartoonist. He does lots of political animation and no uh, shit stuff. You're, am I right? Well, I've got images for Gerald Scarf. He did jump Ger- to Hercules. Here we go. Gerald Scarf, Disney's My Hercules. Word. We're going way off topic here, folks. Please bear with us. In fact, I'm going to let <laughs> you in a little su- superhero secret. Is this this is actually a radio episode one because we did an initial episode one and it was a disaster. However. If you want to listen Ellie's to it, brother's autistic. it will appear bookended at the end of the future. He's not actually episodes. autistic, is he? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no. Okay. What did no, they say? A... Oh, he's on the spectrum. Well, Sorry bit... to people who he's, on, he's on the cusp of autism. It was not his fault. I think it was just a bit <laughs> awkward and flat for everyone. I think now me and you are in the flow of this, Ellie. We're mm. actually a few episodes in. We've gone back to redo this because Joe is uh, obviously, as you can hear, animated and talks Indeed. and he has things. Hi. And he has a computer so he can Google things for us. I'm not really a great researcher. He's our admin You've bitch. done great. You've t- told us about Orion Pictures and when they started, when they <laughs> went bust. I really, I, but I like to go, I, I'm, I'm the tangents guy, really. That's, That's why good. we're talking about we Hercules' Disney movie. <laughs> this. 
Yeah, no, you're right, though. Where did you pull that information from? So he's an illustrator, Harold Scarf. I've got an unfortunate Gerald weird Scarf. brain where I can not remember things that actually are important to me, even learning lines as an actor. And uh, if you if I find out a blip of information from 1998 <laughs> or whenever it was, it stays in there. Stored. Basically, yeah. Rain Man. Yeah. But shit. But like, you're autistic, <laughs> yeah. really. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you want to hear that, uh, the redo of episode one, you listen to it now, so well done. If you want to hear the what we consider maybe the not so good, the also ran episode one, it will of course bookend at the end of this uh, this run of uh, episodes, which is I guess fifty four. Yeah. Of the first eighteen movies the company had released as Orion Pictures Corporation, ten had been profitable, five had broken even, and three had losses of less than two million dollars. Which one were the hits? Does it say there? Well, one such film, Francis Ford Coppola's The Cotton Club, was mired in legal troubles. And Orion lost three million dollars of its investment. Yeah, that's Francis Ford Coppola's film with Richard Gere. They made Armadeus, man. Yeah. It's a great movie, and they, anyone can go bust. It <laughs> makes me feel okay about being broke that's because you know <laughs> Orion are amazing, and they they're broke now. So, well, it was the early early eighties, folks, or the mid eighties. It was uh, Cra- just, uh, crazy times. Coke money, I guess. So it went <laughs> up someone's nose. <clears throat> anyway, tune in tomorrow, and you can get episode two, which is a slightly more sedate. Uh, wander through the Terminator for a few episodes. Hang on, did we actually talk about the movie at all? Well, it does get better. Uh, yeah. yeah, we did. We did. Yeah, Orion no, okay, is okay. the main feature, and I think you that covered was... that very well. <laughs> <laughs> and the cursor. They were the yeah. highlights for me. <laughs> that was great. Uh, yeah, thank you for listening. Uh, I've been Ethan McKinley, actor, comedian extraordinaire. You can find me at ethanmckinley.com with my sister podcast, Questionable. Uh, Ellie Fitzgerald, over to you. Uh, yeah, well, thank you very much for listening to the first episode. Uh, please do come back. Um, we actually do have a uh, email that you can send in stuff very uh, good. if you want to uh, contact us or if you wanted to bring anything to our attention. What is that? Or to send in any photos of you dressed up like on a short snake, which would be great. Send cosplay Terminator yeah, pictures. Yeah, or if you have any toys or anything, you could send us pictures of. That would be great. Yeah. So it's pornography. Um, you can send us two pornography. T. It's two T. Minute Terminator Min- at gmail.com. Or you, or you can just say it. I will check. The number two followed by the letter T. Yes. At. Uh, is it Gmail? Yeah. I think it's Gmail. It's 2T at, t- at gmail.com. Yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, two minute terminator at gmail.com. Okay. Yeah, forget what we just said. The number two. <laughs> <laughs> We're like 30 episodes in at this point because this is a redo. We still keep blowing the email address. So once again, it's the number two. And minute- we have a Facebook page. We do. And well, that's. Uh, <laughs> That's Two Minute Terminator on Facebook. The email address, if you want to send like an audio clip and ask a question, we'll play it in the show as well and we'll answer your questions. If we've missed something, if we're dropping the ball, if we're not doing justice to this fine, well, this varied quality series of films that you love so much, please let us know. Send an audio clip uh, on your phone and you can send that to the correct email address, which is two minute terminator at gmail.com. So that's the number two and then minute terminator at gmail.com. So, yeah. Send us some love on Twitter at 2 minute Terminator. Come back. Come back. <laughs> Listen to episode two. Uh, we, yeah, we do come up with some wacky theories. In fact, there's a lot of plot points, which I've actually never heard anyone no. say on the internet, which we've actually come up with. It blow my fucking mind, So man. we've got some scoops for you, folks. <laughs> so it's all on the way. It's coming. Thank you for listening. Hasta la vista. Baby. I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I'm stupid in my head. I'm an old spicy nigga. And I have big square heads.